Well, Amazon is facing some new competition from online retailer Verishop. The company is the brainchild of former Snap executive Imran Khan and his wife. I had the chance to sit down with Imran yesterday along with Yahoo Finance's Crystal Hu. Here's what he told us about why now is the right time to enter the e-commerce space. I think we're still very early on e-commerce space. So I think if you look at uh, in the U.S., as you pointed out, 10% of the market is e-commerce, and it's a $5.5 trillion market. And market like China, 23% penetration. Even in UK, it's 20% penetration. So I think over the next decade, e-commerce pen penetration as a percentage of re retail will double or triple. So I think there's a tremendous opportunity, and there's also not, one, not enough choices for consumers, and we really want to bring more choices to consumers. You got Amazon, you got Shopify, you got a lot of the traditional retailers focusing on e-com as well. So what is Verishop trying to do differently? What are you seeing that consumers want that maybe they weren't getting before? I think our vision is to become the best home for brands. I think over the last 25 years, internet was created based on open platform where anybody can come list something or post something like a global public square. Mm -hmm. And we saw that over the 25 years, it created a lot of chaos in a lot of platforms. And we stand for trust. So every product you see, we source it directly from the brands. So it's a verified platform. Very shop equals verified shop. Uh, second is we are really investing on discovery. So we have uh, sections like tastemaker shops, which is like influencer stores. So you can go and discover what your favorite influencers like. We also created the responsible shop. So what we found that a lot of millennials and people like me also, I'm not millennials, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, care about responsible shop uh, in a sense like sustainability, eco-friendly, and here you can find all the products. Mm -hmm. And then the third, we're really investing heavily, and I know some companies do that, but we're really investing heavily on convenience. Two-day free shipping, free return, 24-7 customer support. And I think as, uh, and that way we think we can offer more choices to custom consumers. Got it. So obviously you have a very glamorous background. You are a Thank formal you. executive at Snap and your co-founder, Kate, uh, who was an Amazon alum. I wonder what are those experiences were working with those tech giants like Snap and Amazon teach you now you're working on your own startup? Yeah, I think, you know, Snap was an incredible experience. You know, I joined the company when we had around 100 employees and zero revenue. And by the time we, I left, we had $1.6 billion run rate revenue. And it was a really interesting experience of how to scale a business and, and compete with large competitors. And so I think, uh, you know, uh, when Snap was growing, Facebook was a few hundred billion dollar market cap. So I think it's a really interesting experience how to scale a business and learn a business. And, and Kate has a very strong operating background in the retail space, which is a very complementary to my skill set. And uh, we should mention she's also your wife, so there's yes. that too, right? Uh, is, I don't know if that adds or takes anything away when you're kind of working on the same project here, but when we talk about Snap, also you know, had a lot of competitors when they were kind of launching as their own social network. Uh, Verishop now, though, I mean, when we look at Amazon, there's obvious connections there when we talk about attacking the e-commerce space. A lot of those things you mentioned, they also offer. We're talking about two-day shipping, returns, convenience, all of those things. So what do you think is the biggest thing that's going to separate Verishop? I think uh, one big thing is that Amazon is increasingly becoming a marketplace, mm -hmm. right? I think the last number I saw, 58% of their volume is third-party sellers. And it makes complete sense because they're building an everyday store. What we are building, uh, a verified shop, when you know, our vision is anytime you cares about, care about a brand, anytime you care about curation, anytime you care about experience, we want you to come to our platform. Yeah, so I think you're, what you guys are doing is very different from what Amazon's own platform is doing. But it's also when you look at the uh, Amazon's portfolio companies, ShopBop, mm -hmm. and also other uh, retailers out there like Farfetch and right. Natter Porter, do you see them as more direct competitors? Yeah, a again, f first of all, I think we compete with everybody, but also the market is really, really big. Mm -hmm. uh, I think if you look at a lot of the vendors, you know, the price point we are focusing on, right? We are focusing more on affordable luxury. You know, and some of the uh, companies that you mentioned, like Farfetch or Netaporter, they're more of a very, very high end of luxury. You know, and very few people can afford it, right? So I think what we're really focused on that you know price point are somewhere between hundred to five hundred dollars level, affordable luxury. Uh, the second thing is, you know, I think uh, we're also getting.
getting into a lot of n categories. Uh, uh, I think some of the companies you mentioned, they really focus on uh, fashion only. So we do have fashion, but as well as we have soft li line home, you know, categories. We're also uh, making a big investment in beauty. You know, every beauty product you find in our platform right now, they're all clean beauty. We start wanted to start it with the clean beauty because I think people should care about what kind of product they're putting on them. Uh, so, so I think uh, in that way, we, we are many ways different than others. And when we talk about focusing on that luxury space, I mean, is that where you just want to focus when you're starting out? Are you trying to broaden after you have that growth, maybe a year, two years down the line? Or is it always going to be those brands that maybe didn't want to list on Amazon, All Saints being one of them that you now have, Levi's as well? So, I mean, is that the focus long term? I think affordable luxury is a very large market. Uh, and so I think there are a lot of uh, things to do at this point to really, really uh, bring more choices to consumers, and that's what we really, really focus on. We started with around 160 brands, and I think our goal is to get to more than 300 brands by the end of the year, so we're focused on that at this point. So there you go, Imran Khan. Beth, I'd be curious to get your thoughts on what he was talking about there, taking some shots at Amazon's credibility problem as a marketplace versus what he's trying to build, a verified shop. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in your experience with working with Nike on that platform, is that... Is that the case in your mind? Well, I think Amazon has a lot of competition ahead. I liked what he said about it's still really early in e-commerce. And you see what brands like Nike and others are doing. One, they're doubling down in their direct plays, mm -hmm. how they go direct to consumers in pretty amazing ways. I mean, I was just at Nike recently, and they have a new app that measures your foot. <laughs> and suddenly they have the, I found one foot was bigger than the other. Oh, no. And it was really, uh, you know, but, but they have this data, and they have this start to have this relationship with me mm -hmm. in a way that Amazon never will. And so I like what he said about giving brands more opportunities opportunity, yet there will always be that interplay. And so I think for a brand, you have to look at partnering with some of these platforms. You have to also invest in yourself. But I do see the trend he's talking about, if you look at Tmall in China, even Walmart with what they're doing with Jet, are doing mm -hmm. many more brand-specific offerings, which give brands the ability to position themselves, get access to data. These are things that, uh, so far, Amazon hasn't, hasn't done enough of. And how important is that latter point, the, the point that you might have, you know, he was mentioning third-party sellers constituting a, a pretty large chunk of Amazon yeah. sales. I mean, as a brand who wants to protect your brand, right. I mean, is it a problem that there might be counterfeit goods, other things course, out there on the yeah. platform? Yeah, I mean, that's an issue for every brand, for sure. And I think that pure customer relationship, the customer loyalty piece, you want to have that direct relationship if you're a retailer. And mm -hmm. I think that's just the basic of business. And what I found really interesting with Very Shop is the fact that they're actually working with influencers. So giving them their own section on that site so yeah. they can promote their top picks so that you can just buy it. I feel like that's where the next evolution of where Facebook wants to be yeah. when they're unveiling what they want to do with e-commerce is to be able to click on an influencer's page and just be able to order that dress right there, those yeah. shoes right there. So I feel like Very Shop is very much in that space right now, yeah, which is exciting. Yeah, we highlighted that, too. I mean, after the taped interview, we asked Imran how it was different than what they were doing, what Amazon's yeah. doing as well, because they have their own influencer program. And he did go back to that same point, that if you are an influencer, you also want to know that these brands and what you're promoting is the product that says it is. Yeah. Because if yes, you're promoting a product it. and it's not right or it's a fake product, and then all of a sudden you look bad, too. So the, the idea being that trust on the Internet is very central to what Verishop's trying to do. Still early days. It just launched. We'll see if they can start and to take any Instagram, share away. Instagram, as I was hearing it, I'm wondering how quickly we're, we're seeing more from Instagram in terms of shopping. And Absolutely. it seems like easy, something a play they could easily take as Absolutely. well. Absolutely.